and I'm just like in the moment. This is my culture and this is a beautiful culture. We try so hard, even in America, to make our own kind of Lebanon. We're just party people. I feel so Lebanese when I do it. <laughs> Looked at the final that, oh, one day I'm gonna be like that. A very traditional dance. People just gather around the dance floor and they hold each other's hand and they just go in circles and it's a step step kick, step step kick. It's all in the feet. It's always been a cultural dance, that Middle Eastern kind of celebration dance. You see people just like all the way down to the floor, somebody's jumping, somebody's holding a napkin in their hands. The crazy the leader is, the crazy you get and you get into it. You just forget everything around you and you just have to be in that zone. Whoever dances next to you, just hold hands and it just connects. When you still hold into your culture, your music, the people you know, it's like you pass it to your kids. أنا بفضل اخترتوا العطاء مع الجدد ليتعلموا كم لياقة وكم خبرية I introduce my kids to this culture. You take them to these places, you show them. I lead the Dev Kit, and there's like 50 year olds behind me. And it just brings us together as old and the young. We just dance, we don't care how old we are. It feels really good just going back into our culture. Whenever you hear an Arabic song, maybe because it relates to home, you get to feel it better. It flows through you. go back home. It's like, oh my god mom, I learned this tab. I know how to do this now better way or they like the faster way. So I was just in the back looking at the people in the front. My cousins, my cousins actually taught me some moves. Five years later, I just went in the front and just started doing my own moves. I just started to get good at it, and I was like, I'm just gonna go somewhere with this. So I started teaching the guys. You know, even the people who don't know how to do it, they'll eventually catch on, you know? Depke in itself is just like a teaching moment. You know, everybody just learns from the guy in front of them or behind them. I teach the little kids at our church. I absolutely love Depke. My jiddo, Ali Rahmo, he, he was known as like the Depke king in the family, but then he passed away and I knew that he'd be upset if I didn't continue because all my other siblings continued. So I knew I had to do for him and ever since then I've been in love with it. You get so hyped up when you're in the front, like putting your own moves and it's just, it's really exciting. Brandon it was like one of the few that actually taught me how to do Depke. I do feel like I'm like more pressured when like he's coming to the front because he knows exactly what he's doing. Sometimes I get lost. So when Brandon comes, I know I can depend on him. My brother and I were known as like the duo. So whenever he's doing something crazy, like I kind of get the memo. I step up my games, match him, do different stuff. People that migrated from there, oh, it brings it back to their homeland. And then the people that are actually here, like, oh, this reminds me of Lebanon, or when we used to do this, when we used to do that. أنا بحب لبنان العظامة إذا بيقولوا لي وموتي هلا ولبنان صح مستعدة اقتل حالي لحتى يصح لبنان مشتاقة لكل شخص حسن بيع الخضرة مشتاقة له كمان العالم اللي بيمشوا بالطريق اللي المرأة اللي كانت تبيع علكة على كنيسة مرمخايل كل يوم تدعي لي كل العالم أخذوني على بافردي بأحسن مطعم قاعدين قالوا لا ماما لك الديكور لك خلصوني شو بدي ريد الديكور شو بدي ريد العالم بدي شوف العالم اللي أنا بحبه ما ليت حدا من يلي بحبه في شيء من جوا 
خلقني وربي يعني هوني هاي مش هيني كمان جيبوا واحد كبير تزرعه بلد مش بلده يمكن لو جيت صغيرة أكلمت أكتر بس ما رح أنكر إنه أمريكا كتير حلوة وعم تعطينا كل شيء بنا كتر خيرة ولكن فيش سنتيمنتال من جوا هالعالم تعودنا عليهم بس لما جيت وقررت اسكن بامريكا قلت لحالي رح وقف عمري هون وبس ارجع على لبنان خلي الايام تمشي اذا عندي فستان حلو ما بدي البسه بامريكا انا بدي اروح على لبنان على الحزميه والبسه بالحزميه شو بدي اريد تبع امريكا اذا شافوني so you take the best from this country back home. When I come back here, I take the best from my country and bring it here. This is how it should be. And this is how my kids are. My dad arrived in the States at around 95 or 96, and then my mom as well. So they want me to get an education, and they always say that no matter what happens, even if you lose everything, your education will always stay behind you. I want them to have the opportunity and have what I could not have in my earlier life, because there's a lot of opportunities. Our parents thrive for the best, and our parents want us to become better people. Middle Easterns, you got to be like an engineer, a lawyer, a doctor, or the president of whatever, you know? Pre-med is difficult. They wanted me to be a doctor and I wanted to be a doctor. But college, you know, you experience different things, you know, you go into different fields, and they were like, whatever you want to do will f support you 100%. So that actually motivated me even more. The thing is, when people just tell you that you cannot do something just because based on your race or based on what country you are from, it is something that you have to always thrive to actually push yourself to the limit and tell them, no, I can do what you can and even better. Well, in our generation, you know, and everything that's been going on, everybody is labeled. So whether it be the Middle Eastern culture or your specific religion, you, you, you pretty much come with a label in the eyes of many other people. The people here, the Arabs, are American citizens. So we're going to be treated as Americans. We're not going to be called terrorists. We're going to have respect for you, you have respect for us. Every culture and every religion has those good guys and has those bad guys. There's a lot of Arabs that are actually very open-minded. Why do we have this um, propaganda or like a media theory of all Arabs riding on a camel and living in tents and all that? No, we are Arabs who go to universities that would actually help us make our world a better place. I like to show people, you know, like, I'm not, you know, what you perceive me to be. You know, I'm a nice, genuine, caring guy, just like the next person. I'm a sports guy, so I like baseball, basketball, football. I love in and out Volleyball is a very American thing, but no, I love playing volleyball. Can't forget school. Can't forget the education. I can't turn on the British accent, but I was actually born in London and I was raised in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, and in Qatar for one year, and in Lebanon, I've been there for three years, and I'm so proud, and now I'm here, and I like it. People make hummus, tabbouleh, baba ghanouz, all these things that you eat at home, people actually make them here. It's called the Lebanese festival, but not everyone here is Lebanese. So we accept people into our culture. We let them learn about our culture. We don't sit on camels, we don't live in tents. We have skyscrapers, beaches, nightclubs. We party harder than you do. If we see a party, we're gonna go. If we see dancing, we dance. We're definitely like a party, kind of like uh, ethnicity. We like to have a lot of fun. We like to celebrate. 
we just love hosting, we love these parties while we're like getting together like one big happy family. No one ever feels like an outsider, we're just always together, we're always like dancing together. We support each other 100%. There are no words to actually describe how blessed and how proud I am to actually be representing this culture in the United States. أنا بدي موت ببلادي يا عمي هيدا جوزي أفضى حياته ما يصرف ويكتر يقول بدي أرجع على لبنان بدي أعمر بلبنان مات وما عمر شي Sometimes I just go like okay wow such a beautiful place you know but at the same time I'm here and I have to work about my dreams and my ambition here يا ربي إذا بتحبني ما بوت لبنان مع إنه هون اشتروني ولادي ما أبرا بس ما رح أعود فيها and it's beautiful just when you remember all these things that actually re remind you of home and remind you of your roots. Home is where your culture is, where your family is at the end. It's a great time to have and then this is just like the cultural moment that you have that's kind of like lost in now generations. So it's nice to like bring it back a little bit and kind of modernize it.